Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Shivanti and in case if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe to it. And of course, I've changed the name from In Vogue to Flaunt and Flair because I felt Flaunt and Flair was quite relatable. So coming to today's topic, it's going to be a lookbook inspired by the lady superstar of South Nayantara. I personally feel it's such a big achievement or such a big title to be owned in this male dominant industry. I mean, if she's out there on the screen, I wouldn't dare take a gaze elsewhere. So all these years, she has not just grown to be a fabulous actress, but also she has grown to be a person with whom we can easily relate ourselves with, especially when it comes to fashion. Like, trust me, I didn't buy a single piece of cloth for the sake of this particular lookbook. So all the outfits that I'll be showing you guys in this particular lookbook are so much appropriate to be worn uh, to work or college. So yeah, let's get on with the lookbook. This is the look that actually inspired me to do this lookbook. The almost similar kurti. The material for this kurti was actually bought from a local vendor and I got it stitched by my tailor, of course. Uh, in this movie, she accessorized this look with a brown tote bag. Since I don't have a brown bag, I am wearing this black one. Instead of the dupatta that actually came with this kurti, I'm wearing this maroon one as Nayantara was wearing. How appropriate to college or work is this look? My god, her screen presence in this movie. This look is from one of my favorite songs, Neum Nanu Manbe. I had this shirt from Max and tank top from Lifestyle. Put together, I got this look she pulled off so effortlessly in that movie. Not just her dressing, even her accessories and addos will be very minimal. This still is taken from the movie Dora. All the kurtis that she'll be wearing in this entire movie would be of the similar style but different colors. In most of the scenes, she would have unbuttoned her collared kurti wearing a tank top that is darker than the kurti and pants matching the tank top. I'm not wearing a tank top here because I wanted the look to be work or collared appropriate. And another thing is that she'll always have her sleeves rolled up. In this scene, she'll be wearing a red kurti pad up with a matching red leggings and totally contrasting yellow netted dupatta. I don't have a netted yellow dupatta, so I replaced it with a silk one. I mean, you can totally rock this look on an ethnic day at your work or college. I saw Nayantara wearing a solid yellow kurti with white embroidery around her neck in the movie Love Action Drama. I had a similar kurti in turquoise and I think I got this from Lifestyle. I love the way she put her hair in this particular scene, it was into a half updo. video guys thank you so much for hanging on till the end and please do like share and subscribe to flaunt and flat